Since many days we are hearing about a protest on Partapi Narmada River linking project. And as per the latest news, center government drops that project. So today's session is about the same content. Welcome to Before to moving forward, let's understand quickly about what is river interlinking project. The interlinking of river project is a civil engineering project which aims to connect Indian rivers through reservoirs and canals. You will be surprised to know that India has approximate 4% of the water available and India's population is around 16% of the world's population. It means there will definitely be a scarcity of water in our nation. This project will connect 60 rivers of India, including River Ganga. This project is mainly divided into three parts. North Himalayan River Link, Southern Peninsular Component, and Interstate and Intrastate Interlinking of Rivers. So let's talk about a situation of Gujarat first. Gujarat state has only 2% of surface water of the available water of the country whereas it covers 5% of the country. It means there will definitely be a water scarcity. 71% area of Gujarat is water deficit area. 29% of south and central Gujarat has surplus amount of water. And to fulfill the water requirement of remaining 71% of water scarce area needs to divert excess water from the surplus basin. Now let's talk about Partapi Narmada link project. If you can see in the map, there are three different links are a part of Gujarat state. Among them, first one is Yamuna Rajasthan Sabarmati link. Second one, Damanganga. Sabarmati Chorwad link and the third one which is Par Tapi Narmada link. Now let's talk about the geography of a project. Here I have overlay an image which is provided by National Water Development Authority into the Google Earth. Now as per the map we can see that origin of this project is a Jerry Dam and destination of this particular project is Miyaga branch canal which is a part of Narmada canal system. So in this project there are a consideration of construction of six new dams and according to them there will be a development of reservoirs. In addition of six numbers of dams there is a consideration of two numbers of diversion headworks. As per the map we can see that Jerry dam is the origin of a project and a water from Jerry Reservoir divert to the Pikehead Dam which is going to be constructed on the Tar River. From that location, a water of Pikehead Reservoir will divert through the Link Canal to the Chas Mandwa Dam. Again it is going to be divert to the Chikar Dam. Again it is going to be divert to a Dabdar Dam. Again it is going to be divert on a Kalwan Dam which will going to be constructed on a Purna River. And then it is going to be divert towards the Ukai Dam and there will be a large amount of storage into the Ukai Dam. So from Jerry Dam to Ukai Dam, it is a part of Par Tapi link and then after from Ukai Dam, it will divert towards Miyagam branch canal which is a part of Narmada canal system and it is a Tapi Narmada link. So if we are going to summarize it, it will be a Par Tapi Narmada link and after collecting a water at Miyagam branch canal it will divert towards the Saurashtra and Kutch region via Narmada canal network system. So that is a basic geography of this particular project. Now let's understand 
it into the detail. So Parthapi Narmada Link project was actually an idea of 1980s based on national perspective plan under the former Union Ministry of Irrigation and the Central Water Commission. The project proposes to transfer a river water from the surplus region of the Western Ghat to the deficit region of Saurashtra and Kutch and to increase irrigation facilities into the South Gujarat region. And it proposes link of three different rivers. Now let's talk about a salient features of the project. This project type is a multi-purpose project as there are a consideration of more than one purpose. Here we are not only going to divert a water. Here we are also providing irrigation facilities to the deficit area. And here there is also a consideration of hydropower generation. Location is situated in Maharashtra as well as in the Gujarat state. There are eight different numbers of river basins will be a part of this project. Par, Oranga, Ambika, Pona, Mindola, Tapi, Kim and Narmada. Proposed annual irrigation as per the project report submitted by National Water Development Authority is 2,32,175 hectares. There will be a generation of 21 megawatt of hydropower. Water availability will be 133 crores cubic meter. One cubic meter is equals to 1000 liters. There is a consideration of link canal of Par to Tapi about 205 kilometers and Tapi to Narmada is about 190 kilometers. Let's talk about command area into the detail. Total covered command area will be 2,32,175 hectare. Among them, between Par to Tapi, it will be 11,370 hectare. And Tapi to Narmada, it will be 49,820 hectares. In addition of that, by the link canal, if you are considering a gravity flow over the left hand side, it will be 45,561 hectare. If you are considering a lifting which is over the right hand side, it will be 36,200 hectares as the link canal considered in this particular project will travel through the contour network. It means there will only we can irrigate an area by gravity on a once. Through the Narmada canal system, it will be 34,342 hectares. In Saurashtra and Kutch region, there is 42,368 hectares. And lifting from reservoir, it will be 12,514 hectare and total will be 2,32,175 hectare. Among them, 1,57,291 hectare area is considered under a tribal zone and 74,884 hectare area is considered under the other zones. Now let's talk about the reservoir formation. There are six number of reservoirs. First one which is a Jerry Dam which will going to be constructed on a Par River and we will connect a Jerry Reservoir to the Pikehead Reservoir by constructing 12.7 km long tunnel. It is a part of Nasik district and Maharashtra street. Then after there will be a pikehead dam which is going to be constructed on Nar river which is a part of or which is a tributary of Par river. We will connect pikehead reservoir to the Chas Mandava reservoir by link canal. It is a part of Gujarat state as well as a few portion is covered under the Nasik under a Maharashtra state. Then after there will be a Chas Mandava dam as well as there will be a construction of one diversion headwork. It may be a weir, it may be a barrage. Then after there is a consideration of Chikar Dam, then after there is a consideration of Dabdar Dam and then after there is a consideration of Kelvan Dam and all the dams will develop a reservoir over that particular location. Now what is the concern of tribals here? According to a report by the NWDA, here I am not talking anything about the politics behind it. Here I am not talking to anything which is not a part of this particular report. Here I will talk only about a report submitted by National Water Development Authority. According to a report, 
about 6065 hectare of land area will be submerged due to the proposed reservoirs and a total number of 61 villages will be affected among them one village will be a fully submerged and remaining 60 villages will be a partially submerged and the affected villages are located in Surgana and Paint Taluka of the Nasik district, Dharampur Taluka of Valsa district, Vasda Taluka of Nausari district and Ahava Taluka of Dank district into the Gujarat state. And there will also be an impact on environmental and socio-economic on peoples as well as on the animals. Why they are worried here? They are worried about relocate and rehabilitation. They are worried about their loss of social life over that particular area. As there will be a development of a new colony, there will definitely change in their present situation and their upcoming situation. After the construction of numbers of reservoirs, after the construction of number of dams, there will be an impact over the environmental situation. Now let's talk about proposed land under submergence. There are six numbers of reservoirs and I have mentioned all the reservoirs here. Green color that is an indication of forest land submergence. Blue color that is an indication of culturable land submergence and yellow color represents river land submergence. Hence according to the report we can see that total 2829 hectare of forest land will be under a submergence. 2,364 culturable land will be under submergence, 872 hectare river land will be under submergence and overall 6,065 hectare land under submergence. Project affected families. Orange color represents project affected families losing land only. Yellow color represents project affected families losing land as well as homestead. And green color represents the total number. Here we can see that total of 2,398 project affected families will lose their land. And 111 families will lose their land as well as their homestead. Hence overall 2,509 project affected families will be there. So what's the main concern here? A main concern is about rehabilitation and resettlement. So what's the solution here? A liberal and attractive rehabilitation and resettlement package which could set aside all grievance of project affected families. It means we need to provide a healthy package to them. Now let's talk about what is rehabilitation and resettlement plan suggested by government into the report. So the compensation is considered based on land acquisition, rehabilitation and resettlement at 2013. Hence everything will be a legal procedure. Now this is a report which was submitted by National Water Development Authority. And here we are talking about socio-economic studies and resettlement and rehabilitation plan. Now according to report we will see likely to be affected villages. Now there are six numbers of villages based on Jerry Reservoir, 11 number of villages based on Pikehead Reservoirs. In this there is a consideration of villages of Walsa district as well as Nasik district of Gujarat and Maharashtra state. There is no fully submerged village in this particular list. Now according to Chasmandra Reservoir there are 7 numbers of villages all are under a partially criteria. According to the Chikar Reservoir, there are 9 number of villages, no one is fully submerged here. According to the Dabda Reservoir, there are 11 affected villages will be there and all are under a partially submerged criteria. According to the Kalwan Reservoir, there are 17 numbers of affected villages will be there. Among them, one will be a fully affected and remaining will be a partially affected villages hence total 61 numbers of villages among them one will be fully affected and remaining 60 will be a partially affected now let's talk about provisions for resettlement plan for families losing homesteads what are the consideration 
Here, there is a consideration of housing benefits. Housing building assistant, which be 150,000 for the construction of house. For a construction of cattle shed, it will be 25,000 per project affected families. Transportation allowances, it will be a 50,000. Subsistence allowance will be a 3,000 per month for a period of one year. And one time resettlement allowance, it will be a 50,000. They are going to provide a plot of 250 meters square for a construction of a new house. There is also consideration of internal village road network, drainage network within the resettlement site, sanitation network within the resettlement site, safe drinking water provision based on 135 liters per capita per day, consideration of footpath, public transport, place for worship, cremation ground, fair price shop, post office, panchayat ghar, community hall, healthcare facilities, garden and children's play area, space for weekly market, educational institutes and everything is being considered in this rehabilitation and resettlement plan. Now for the peoples who will lose their cultural land, they will provide 10 lakh per hectare. For the uncultural land, there will be a provision of 5 lakh per hectare for the construction of a road if someone is losing the land for the construction of approach road they will get 5 lakh per hectare for the colonies 5 lakh per hectare for the canal construction 10 lakh per hectare so this was the overview about resettlement and rehabilitation plan now we need to consider few facts here area received 95 percentage of annual rainfall in four months of monsoon season in short from June to September during Southwest monsoon season. The average monsoon runoff in Par, Oranga, Ambika and Pune river. If we are considering 50%, 90% annual runoff is there. It means there will be no saving more than 10% into the rivers after the monsoon. So during the non-monsoon season, there would be negligible flow or no flow at all the sun months in these rivers. Hence, to construct series of reservoirs can be a good option for the development of this region also. In addition of that, among 2,32,175 hectare area, 1,57,291 hectare is under a tribal area. It means that development of tribal area has also been considered here. Here there is a consideration of diversion of surplus water is only taken into the account. Hence, there won't be less supply in that required amount of water to the nearby villages of the project. They will definitely get the amount as per their required demand. And Saurashtra and Kutch are also part of this state. Their geography is not suitable for such kinds of project. It is not their fault. So that's all about me. I have covered basic introduction part of the river interlinking project what is the current situation of gujarat state what is situation over that particular region few factors which we need to be considered about rehabilitation and resettlement plan now it is up to you what you are thinking about this project is rehabilitation and resettlement plan is satisfactory or does it need modifications? Every project has a two aspect and we should focus on how much more people will get the benefit from this project. So do you think to stop this project is a solution? Or to well facilitate project affected families and allow to execute project for a development? Share your views into the comment box. I hope this video will definitely be helpful to understand the situation about Par Tapi Narmada interlink project. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, subscribe it, press a bell icon and stay connected for a real knowledge in the field of civil engineering.